What you are now looking at is another device. This is a Windows Phone device, and this Windows Phone device has the Internet Explorer mobile browser in it, and that's what you're looking at the Travel Adventures website in. Now, this particular device will operate just the same as the website in any other mobile device. So whether it's a Windows device with Internet Explorer, or it's an iPod Touch, or an iPad, or an Android tablet, these devices all operate exactly the same because this is a jQuery mobile website. So here's my photo gallery on the Windows phone, and it operates just the same as any of the other devices. I just tapped the icon down below, and it starts showing it as a slideshow. And this is the photo gallery feature that will be built. I'll move out of the photo gallery and hit the back button here. I can go to the home screen, and there is the home screen for this website. So this is the website on a Windows phone with the Internet Explorer mobile browser. What I'm going to do is take a look at how to create these different views, such as this view that's scrollable. And that is a listing of the tours for the Travel Adventures website. The countries is another type of list view, and that's what's going to be set up now. So let's get started creating a list such as these for the tours and countries area within our mobile website. I'm now going to build what is known as a list view in jQuery mobile. Let's take a look at what constitutes a list view. And right now I have my index page open. And if I put it in design view, you'll see it's simply a sequence of items that say different page numbers, and page one has a bulleted list within design view. If I go into code view, it is a bulleted list surrounded by the UL tag with just list item tags, the LI tag in between. If I put this into live view, however, this is where jQuery mobile does its magic. My basic bulleted list magically becomes a whole page layout when I put it into the browser. And that's jQuery mobile doing its thing. So I want to ultimately create the web page for our travel adventures. So one of the first things I'm going to do is instead of this header one, I'm actually going to delete that and say logo because ultimately my logo image is going to go into that header section. Now this next section is going to end up being tours, countries, book a tour, and about us. So I just go into my regular bulleted list and that's what I type. This one will be tours. This next one will be countries. Page four is going to become book a tour. And the last one, page five, will turn into about us. Now, all I did was change the wording that the user is going to see. If I turn off live view and turn it back on, you can see we just created our list views within the browser. That's how simple it is to create these list views. Now, a list view becomes a list view because it gets a data role attached to it. So you can see this data role says list view. That's what tells jQuery mobile to convert this basic bulleted list from HTML into the list in jQuery mobile complete with hover effects and icons as well. We do have a color scheme going here as well, and we'll take a look at how to modify that at another time. 
but our list view is now all set. We have our tours, countries, book a tour, and about us all set up. So that is how you create a list view in jQuery Mobile. You simply create a bulleted list and jQuery Mobile does it for you as long as you remember to add the data role to that list of list view.